And God's laws all address the causes back to every single factor. Every single factor is accounted for in all of God's laws. In fact, there's a statement you'll find in the pageant messages that say the wheels of God's laws grind with exceedingly tight tolerances. And what they imply is that you can't get away with anything. It will always be attributed to the actual cause. See, the law of cause and effect is also affects us in this way, and that is, whatever happens around me, remember, and if I'm involved, there is a cause within me. And if I choose to deny the cause and choose to act in an unloving manner, then the effect is going to, uh, that of, of what I create is also going to be attributed to me. So for example, let, let me give an example. A parent, a parent, maybe a mother or something like that, when she was a child, was abused sexually. She has a baby daughter. The parent does not deal with the emotion. She does not address the emotion inside of herself of the abuse. In other words, the fear that she has and the sadness and grief that she has and the terrible effect it's had on her psychology and so forth. She chooses to deny all of such things. As a result of the denial of all of such things, the child is totally exposed to potential perpetrators abusing her. Now, this is actually a loving thing. If you as a parent do not love your child enough to actually deal with your baggage, then what other possible reason could you ever have for dealing with your baggage? Do you understand what I mean? If, if, if the love of your child isn't a large enough reason for you to deal with your baggage, what is ever going to be a large enough reason? I, I suggest nothing is going to be larger than that reason. And see, this is the thing we need to also consider, is that, is that the mother, the child may be abused, but the actual unloving damage that's been done to the child it was not only the perpetrator that caused it, it's also the mother. And it will be attributed to her. Her unloving behaviour of choosing to not release the damage will be attributed to her because of the damage that's now been done to the child as a result of her choice. Do you understand? The law of cause and effect will actually mean that mum will actually have law of compensation issues to deal with the fact that she did not address what had happened to her and therefore caused her child to have the same experience. She was a part cause of her child having the same experience. Not the total cause, because obviously the perpetrator was a large part of the cause, was he not? So he has the primary responsibility, but mum also is attributed the responsibility. There are many women in the spirit world who have yet to exit the hills for one reason only. And you know what it is? That they refuse to accept the responsibility of their own child being abused and their denial of their own abuse. That's the only reason why they're there. They refuse to accept that because they didn't release what they could have chosen to release, that, that this event occurred. They refuse to accept their part of the responsibility. And this is one thing we need to understand, is the law of cause and effect is real justice. It is real justice. Right. 
and everything is attributed in the long run everything is attributed now the problem here on earth is that we are so separate from it we are so separated from the law that we think and the majority of us continually butt our head against all of the laws and as a result we all have a lot of pains painful consequences happening all the time and we start feeling that all of the laws are, start, are unjust they only feel unjust when we act out of harmony with love see if we were in harmony with love we would not feel that any of the laws are unjust because we'd understand the purpose of every single law and the relationship between the cause and its effect